And last but not least, certainly not least, our final inductee of the evening, Fresno's own Mr. Dennis Toledo. His presenter this evening will be Dwayne Zinkin. Dennis wrestled at Fresno City College where he placed fifth in the state community college championships. And he also wrestled, wrestled at Fresno State University where he was a conference runner up for two times. He coached at Clovis High School for 10 years where his teams won nine Yosemite League titles, five CIF Central Section titles, and three CIF State Championships and one second place finish at the state tournament. His record at Clovis was 145 wins and only seven defeats. Quite a coaching record. Dennis has coached at Fresno State for the past 24 years. His teams won seven consecutive Western Athletic Conference Championships, and he was named the WAC Coach of the Year four times. He has produced 27 All-Americans and 55 Conference Championships. He coached one NC2A Division I three-time champion in Stephen Abbott's. His teams have finished in the top 25 at the NC2A Division I Championship 11 times. His teams have amassed a dual meet record of 330 wins and only 149 defeats. Dual meet victories. Making him the winningest coach at Fresno State University history. Dennis is also a promoter. At Fresno State set a West Coast attendance record when it attracted 9,750 fans to the dual meet against second-ranked Iowa State at Save Mart Arena on January 6, 2004. Dennis has announced his retirement from coaching at Fresno State University and we will miss him. Truly a dedicated coach. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2005 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Dennis Delino. I've been to this thing about how many times? Six? And I know what you people feel like right now. <laughs> You're dreading the thought of me standing up here and talking a long time. Well, you don't have to worry about that. I'm going to forget some people, but I'm not going to take a long time doing it. <laughs> First of all, I want to thank Dr. Floyd Buchanan, who hired me at Clovis High at a time where uh, Clovis was ripe to be a great wrestling team, and I was fortunate enough to coach him for 10 years and had a lot of success at that level, where I think coaching at the high school level is a, a different ball game. And I thank Dr. B for that. I always thank him for that. When I went to the University of, well, Fresno State, I had two questions in my interview. Do you want the job, yes or no? I said yes. And the rest is history. I've had a great career there. I'd like to have had more wins, less losses. But as I all know, if you're a wrestling fan or a wrestling coach, the lows are always the worst part of wrestling. The highs never exceed them as far as I'm concerned. I can tell you all the times we lost championships rather than the ones we won. So. That's why I'm retiring this year, because down deep I hate this sport. <laughs> I want to tell you one thing at the college level, folks. The better guys I had, the better coach I was. <laughs> I didn't make, I didn't make very many mistakes with Stephen Abbas. I don't take standing, bottom, top. I hardly made a mistake with him. So for all you college prospective coaches, get good guys, it helps your career. Thank you. Mr. Dennis Toledo.